Good evening, and thank you for joining us. Ontario Solicitor General Michael Kersner toured the construction site of the new $1.2 billion Thunder Bay Correctional Complex today. The facility is still on schedule to be finished in 2026. It will replace the century-old district jail and the existing correct correctional centre on Highway 61. Kersner insists it will provide relief to an overcrowded correctional system. Vasilio Spellos was with Kersner today and brings us this report. An Ontario minister visited the site of the province's largest single investment in the history of Thunder Bay. Our pillar of public safety is absolute and constant. Solicitor General Michael Kersner was at the construction site of the new 345-bed correctional complex off Highway 61, thanks to a $1.2 billion provincial investment. The big project began in 2022 and is expected to be completed in 2026. Coming after a separate 50-bed modular expansion opened last year, also the result of provincial funding. Kersner pointed to programming at the new centre as a way of providing long-term support to the community by preventing reoffending. We rely on the native inmate liaison officers, those amazing NALOs. We rely on the people that do the programming so that the skills and the uh, programs that they attend here will help prepare them for community reintegration. In the end of the day, when that happens, we reduce the rates of recidivism back into our communities. That's a goal that we have. The construction can't be completed soon enough for a system that's seen significant inmate overcrowding for many years. It's led to mental health challenges for both corrections officers and those inmates, with local union officials previously stating their fear the facility won't be large enough. Kersner was asked about those concerns. We're continuing to look at our capacity numbers in northwestern Ontario and we'll continue to assess it. But again, I stress here, $1.2 billion investment that's helping the local community where people will have permanent jobs and we're delighted that so many construction jobs have been created and, and we're going to stand 100% with the people of northwest Ontario. As of this week, there are around 170 inmates at the district jail and 180 at the correctional centre, for a total of 350. The new correctional complex combined with the 50-bed facility would have capacity for 395 prisoners. Vicioios Balos, TVC News.